Commonwealth TV live from Las Vegas and him 16. I'm very fortunate to be able to spend some, some quality time with Jitin Asnani. Jitin is the executive director of Commonwealth Health Alliance. Jitin, good to see you. Thanks for the warm welcome. Absolutely. Let's Thank get you right me. to it. We have a tight timeline now. What are some key milestones Commonwealth has reached in its journey to provide cross-vendor interoperability services nationwide? Absolutely. You know, it's been such an exciting year for us, Todd. Right now, Commonwealth um, Alliance members number more than 40 of them across the entire care continuum, more than 10 different care settings. And it's just it's just beautiful and amazing to see how person-centered care is important, not just for the patient, which is absolutely central to us, but in each of these places where patients get care. Um, Post-acute, uh, ambulatory, acute, telemedicine, pharmacy, lab, it's just so many settings, it's beautiful. One of our big, so when I think of our time, our time, uh, our timeline and our milestones, to getting to this number of vendors is big field for us. And even bigger deal for us has been the fact that we're now live in 4,400 sites plus across the U.S. Not pilot, not hackathon, not you know uh, an experiment. We are live in 4,400 places in 50 states plus D.C. and Puerto Rico. It's just beautiful, and that's what we really accomplished over the last year. And it's, as we've expanded out, and we've already started moving into the phase of this year. We launched our provider advisory council. That's really helping to advise um, Commonwealth um, directly in terms of feedback to the services. We just announced last week that we're going live into the post-acute care setting. So now in addition to 4,400 sites, which are hospitals and ambulatory clinics, we're gonna start going live in skilled nursing facilities and home health facilities, really taking ourselves across the spectrum. And as we, as the year continues forward, we expect other care settings to start going live as well. It's really been an amazing time, an amazing journey. It has been fun to watch, I'll tell yeah. you that. So, so how are Commonwealth services essential to the exchange of health data across the care continuum? The important thing that people, uh, are starting to realize, and now they're asking us more and more across these care settings, is that being able to treat a patient, no matter how you treat them, right, as a, as a physician or as a lab technician, just trying to analyze and understand their images, uh, and, and sorry, and their, uh, uh, and their lab values, et cetera. Doing that in isolation, you really lack the kind of picture to be able to provide the best diagnosis, the best treatment, et cetera. So people understand that there's, you need to be able to keep track of the patient to actually understand the data that surrounds the patient no matter where they go for care. Um, and Commonwealth Services, being person-centric by design, by nature, um, is allowing our members, no matter what care setting they particularly serve, allowing them to be able to treat the patient in a way that gives them a view into the entire history and longitudinal uh, record of the patient. That's what's amazing. That's what makes the care much more powerful in each of those settings. Oh, I understand that. So uh, this will be a fun question. What's one unique attribute of Commonwealth that you want everyone to know? You know, the, I think the thing about Commonwealth that is so differentiated, it's not something I've built, it's not something any one of us has built, but it's fundamental to our vision, is that when providers of any sort, caregivers of any sort, the patient themselves, when they are trying to get out, get their data, it, being able to get that data in the software, in the apps, in the whatever it is that they use to take care of themselves or their patients, whoever it is, whoever that caregiver is, being able to get that data in that software platform, that workflow, makes a big difference to what kind of care they provide. So that combination of, I have this system that I've always had and now it's enabled me to get the patient-centric data, and the fact that we have these patient-centric services that allow you to see that view no matter where you are and what system it is you're using, that's what's very powerful and unique about the Commonwealth approach. Very, very exciting. Jit Nasnani, the Executive Director of the Commonwealth Health Alliance, good to see you as always. Thanks for making time to join us. Thank you very much. Commonwealth too. TV, signing off from Las Vegas, M16.